Hi guys, um, I want to share with you the amazing benefits of giving birth in Korea and once you hear this, you probably want to immigrate to Korea um, As our birth rate is pretty low in Korea, so Korean governments provide lots of benefits to raise the birth rate So now I'm going to explain, I'm going to tell you what benefits we have so first of all, uh, medical support. So once you find out that you're pregnant, then you will receive the document to confirm that you're pregnant and uh, from the hospital. Then with that paper, you visit the local post office or the bank. Then they will give you this card. This is called the uh, National Happiness Card. That it has like if you're having one child then it has about $500 in it and then if you're having a twins then it has about $700 so you can use this car uh, for the prenatal checkups at the hospital and there are local community hospitals and then uh, they uh, if they find out that you're pregnant then they will give you some medical supplement, like nutritional supplement, such as a public acid, where they also give you iron supplement, and also giving you a free prenatal checkup. So those are uh, medical support from Korea. Second, uh, is a financial support. Uh, there is a child child birth subsidy. So once, like when you when you register your child birth, then you will receive subsidy, and it is a uh, subsidy amount is different. Like it's all it's depending on the region or the city you live in. But normally, like the for the first baby that people receive like about hundred dollars, and then for the second one you will receive like about three hundred dollars to five hundred dollars and the, for the third one that you will receive like up to thousand dollars like it, as i say like it's all depending on the area or region you live in the amount is like all different mm, there are the subsidy for the cost of raising children and child care expense uh, once you have a baby, then you will receive like about $200 per month for a baby less than 24 months and then $150, about $150 for a baby uh, less than 24 months. Normally, uh, people sending their kids to the daycare when the baby are like about the 24 months and then once they send their kids to the daycare, then government to stop their money. The, that subsidy goes to the daycare, which means like in Korea, we don't need to take care of any money. Like it's daycare is free. But once they go to kindergarten, then we have to pay for it. But it's not as expensive as like Canada or uh, America, I guess. And then we also have another type of uh, money that they you will receive like $100 per month uh, until your kids uh, turn to 84 months, I think. And then uh, it's, uh, you, all be, you will all be given like regardless of their income level. Also, if you have a baby like less than one year old at home, then uh, you can get 30% uh, off on your electricity bill of up to about $16. So, you know, once we have a baby, we raise a baby, we have to turn the air conditioner all the time. We have to turn the heater all the time. So this support is pretty good for the kids who have a, who just birth a baby per month. So I think it's pretty good deal like Korean government to try very hard to increase the birth rate and I I heard that uh, if it, 
I'm Korean, if I'm married to foreigners, then we can we can receive all these benefits. But like one of you has to be Korean. So if you're like holding a couple, you're both birth a baby in Korea. I'm not sure if that's applied to those couples too. But I think you guys have to have like Korean permanent residency and stuff, then they probably you can receive all these benefits. So what I want to say is like, uh, like it's very good to raise kids in Korea because like daycare is free, then all the subsidy, financial support, and medical support, it's all good. So now I'm like I'm having a second child. So it's good.